Sign reads, auction ahead. Oh, this person's leaving. It's kind of interesting to be leaving right now. All right. Uh, one thing I would say, so we're going to an auction right now of less. Gotta say, baseball fields out here in the suburbs in the country look immaculate. Looking back, thinking about my high school days, I don't think I played on one field that had a grass infield. Definitely didn't play on one field that had a, a, a dugout like that. They really keep their stuff high end around here. Uh, what do we got going on over here? Looks like a lot of trucks array. A lot of trucks, lots of people. Maybe we'll find some treasure here, but welcome back for another auction day. Hopefully finding some treasure. We will see. Pretty sure whatever vehicle was here was probably in this spot. I do believe Auction Life is here. He did message me last night saying that it's supposed to be a fairly larger auction this time. And I can see there's a lot more box lots, but welcome back. It's auction day. Buy some treasure. Probably buy stuff we don't need, but that's always the fun part, right? So let's do it. Odenville, PA. I've never even heard of that. Kind of interesting those pig troughs also have a name on them. Right there. Can't read it, but Mountville. Somebody, Somebody might want that. Like, oh, no. <laughs> 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 oh, that's really cool. Goes on your belt. That's very neat. Alright, so I just bought a, uh, one box of glassware here, some other smalls, but probably gonna end up. I don't know, are these small mason jars still hot? People have everyone, everyone's been saying that mason jars are worth a million dollars now. It must be a mason jar shortage. I got some newer milk bottles here. I think there's, I'm taking them out here in case like, I hit a bump. And all this stuff just goes up and down. Oh yeah, I forgot. There might be um, might be some stuff on the road that I can grab. Throw it over there. But yeah, I picked up one box. I uh, wasn't too much here that I was really interested in. Which is what happens sometimes you go to auctions. Sometimes there's tons of stuff. Sometimes there's not that much. So, um, yeah, uh, we'll be on to, uh, I feel like I already lost my keys. We'll be onward. I think we'll stop off at the thrift store in Easton. I haven't been there in a long time, so we'll check that out. I'll be honest, I have no idea. Hey, you can do magnet fishing down there. I have no idea where I'm at. The fact that they have speed limit signs on probably means that's an actual road. It's a nice drive. I don't know. I have no clue. Alright, well, 
looks like we have a washing machine or something out here. The trash company did come through, so I guess they just don't pick up whatever this is. So we're going to grab it. Looks very heavy. Oh, it's a cement. I didn't even see that. Van needed a bath anyway. Interesting. More metal over here. How am I gonna fit this? So I ended up, ended up not going to uh, the thrift store, and uh, I realized, because it's now 3.30, I'm pretty close to the scrapyard, but the scrapyard closed at 4 o'clock, so uh, we're trying to get there and get rid of those washers and dryers as soon as possible, because I have to do trash picking here in an hour and a half, although I don't know if that's really possible. We'll try to make it happen, even with the rain. But I've uh, got to get rid of the washers and dryers because those take up a lot of real estate. Corn's growing pretty nice. I have no idea how much those uh, <clears throat> how much those washers and dryers are going to be. There's a little bit of other stuff, but it's kind of weird that we found three. <laughs> what are the odds? Uh, scrap price has dropped. It dropped yesterday. A dollar for every hundred pounds, so I think it's down to seven dollars and fifty cents. Unless it dropped even more, which I'm not sure of. But uh, two days ago when I came here, that pile was very large, and now it's very small. I've had a lot of people request to see me drop off the metal. Usually, whenever I include this kind of clip, it'll just be me getting on the scale. So I'll go ahead and include this other part. Just like that, 36 bucks. Not bad for a couple washers and, uh, you know, stopping off. Alrighty, well, made it back. We are outside now. I wanted to show off my lovely garden. <laughs> it's got one tomato, two tomatoes, and like two small tomatoes there. Not going on, not much going on in the tomato world. So these are the plants I got from Leesport. I know I had a bunch of people ask me why I look basil. I never even clipped over here. I did have people ask me how my tomato plants turned out. Uh, yeah, I got what, like four tomatoes going on. I also just got a, uh, <laughs> I got a wow. 
I got a tornado warning on my phone just now and accidentally closed it out as it was appearing. So I don't even know what the tornado, I just saw a tornado and that was it. So hopefully Taco Stacks will be here tomorrow. If not, got swept away. As for my other plants, these were the bell pepper, not bell pepper. These were the um, banana peppers that I got. They legitimately did not get any larger. That's the size I planted them out. And that's what they are today. So the banana peppers from Lee Sport did not really last that well. However, the person who I got them from, the plants, they had banana peppers and they didn't taste that great. So I'm not that disappointed. But that's a little update on good old Taco Stacks' garden. There's really not much going on with my garden. It's not really much going on here. Other than that, it is pouring. And uh, yeah, let's go wrap it up. We've been all over the board today, but overall still another fun day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you for coming along with another treasure hunt. Catch you guys tomorrow, tomorrow's adventure. Till tomorrow, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.